Alright, final Wii U video before it officially comes out on November 18, 2012. That would be tomorrow as of uh, this video is being recorded. So let's talk about the uh, Wii U specs. That's right, technical specifications for Nintendo Wii U. And finally, they've actually updated a lot of the information since I made a video like this. I think the last time I talked about this, there was only like a few like little details about it. But now... Let's start with the processors. Uh, the CPU IBM Power Architecture based multi core processor. GPU is AMD Radeon High Def with an ED RAM uh, cache built into the die. Wii U CPU is designed by IBM. It's described by IBM as an all new power based microprocessor. All new, my ass. Give me a break, man. This thing's already a few years old. The processor is a multi core design manufactured at 45 nm with an ED RAM cache. Neither Nintendo nor IBM has re revealed detailed specs such as the number of cores, clock rate, or cache sizes. I wonder what that, why that is, huh? Why is that? Is it because they know it's inferior? That it's not next-gen? It's pretty sad. References have been made to the chip containing a lot of ED RAM, the same processor technology found in Watson. Watson. Let me look up Watson here for a second. I'm starting to it's starting to bug me how they use all these different terms and stuff like that. Alright. Watson is a computer AI, a computer system capable, capable of answering questions posed in natural language, developed in IBM's Deep QA project. Okay. In 2011, as a test of its abilities, competed on the quiz show Jeopardy. Interesting. Well, alright. So it's some sort of a. Uh, some sort of computer. Interesting. Uh, the RAM is going to have 2 gigs total with half dedicated to system software. Storage is 8 gigs basic or the 32 gigs deluxe uh, $350 premium edition. Internal flash memory expandable via SD memory card. Oh my, an SD card. Up to 30 gigs and a U USB hard disk drives up to 2 TB. Slot loading optical disk drive compatible with 12 centimeter proprietary high density optical discs. 12 gigs per layer and 12 centimeter Wii optical discs. That's right, that would be the uh, uh, that would be the Wii titles. So it is in fact backwards compatible with ma generally the majority of the Wii games, original Wii. Ports and peripheral capabilities, SD memory card slots. SDHC cards, USB 2.0 ports, two at the front of the console, two at the rear, sensor bar power port, AV multi out port, HDMI 1.4 out port. And it should have some sort of internet connection, internet browsers, and things like that. It should have wireless. Uh, trying to look into it. Alright, the, the gamepad itself has a built in 3 act. 3 axis acceler accelerometer 3 axis gyro oh my god this just reminds me of the friggin PS3 uh, controller the 6 axis uh, but we all know how you know kind of a flop that controller was um, it, does anybody use the 6 axis anymore? Like, really? the PS3? in all my time I had with that freaking PS3 and that controller I think I only used it maybe once or twice. I remember one time in Infamous where you could do that like wave attack thing and you sort of moved it forwards and that was kind of neat. But it was only like one move and it was a very you know, short segment. It was still kind of cool but it, you know very very limited. And I think maybe I tried it with like Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row or something. Try to control like one of the vehicles with it like the airplane segments and it was a complete failure you know it was just so unresponsive so hopefully this gamepad 3 axis thing is you know you got the gyroscope geomagnetic sensor hopefully this one is just more uh, responsive and just better to control this feels better stereo speakers and microphone uh, volume control front-facing camera IR sensor strip infrared transceiver part of TV control feature headphone jack uh, 16 by 9 resistive touchscreen, uh, two clickable anal analog sticks, and one D-pad. It's got a stylus, kind of like a DS. 
Select start, TV control, home and power buttons, A, B, X, Y, face buttons, L, R, bumper buttons, and Z, L, Z, R, trigger buttons. Oh man, this, <laughs> oh my god. The similarity to the 360 controller is just insane. I mean, I can't believe they really ripped it off. I mean, it's so blatant. Nintendo, the most unoriginal company of, of the next gen. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point. Uh, rumble, uh, controller sync button, wireless communication with console. Uh, uh, yeah, that's one thing about Rumble. I love how Rumble has been like such a industry standard, at least relatively for most of the companies. Like, I know that like PS3 is released, you know, with their retarded ass. They ended up taking it away initially from the PS3 when it first came out, and then they put it back in. Some sort of bullshit like legal reasons. Um, I believe the Xbox 360, like the, I have 360 controllers and they don't have rumble for some reason. They're wireless controllers. I don't know what's going on with that. I was, I, I thought they had rumble. Um, so, it, it's, it's an, it's the standard because, you know, you take a look at the Xbox, the original Xbox controllers, they had rumble. PS2 controllers, they had rumble, you know, and so on and so forth. They, they all had rumble. And I love how rumble back in the 90s was a big deal it was such a gimmick you know like with the n64 thing and you put the rumble pack and you had to buy it separately and it was like this big gimmick but now it's just completely normal you know it's it's like any system if a system doesn't have it if a controller doesn't have it then it's like considered inferior it's a piece of shit it's like going backwards it's like you gotta have rumble in there you know you, it's it's a must it's become so normal you know that technology um, yeah, wireless uh, communication with a console. Yeah, wireless controller, NFC. Uh, NFC would be, I believe, it's like, like near near field communication. That's right, like a smartphone kind of thing going on. External extension connector. Also, the Wii U is going to be compatible with the Wii, Wii Remote Plus, Wii Nunchuck, Classic Controller, and Wii Balance Board. So all the little gimmick peripherals uh, from the Wii era is going to be available. 1080p, uh, 720p, 480, all that stuff. 16x9, anamorphic widescreen. The PAL region will only uh, will have 576, which is only available in the PAL region. And have AV multi out, S video, NTSC consoles only, and HDMI, you know, stereoscopic 3D images. So it's gonna have some sort of 3D uh, gimmick as well. Interesting. So, I mean, yeah, it's looking quite. Uh, yeah, you got the Nintendo Network. Now, this one is definitely the more uh, kind of. Uh, it's like the Xbox Live, you know, PlayStation, you know, PSN. This is Nintendo Network. Like, finally, Nintendo is trying to catch up to the freaking, you know, online service. I mean, that's one of the bullshit things about Nintendo in the past, like, five, seven years is that their online has pretty much been completely inferior and garbage compared to, like, Xbox Live and even PSN. It's been absolutely, like, tedious and just, you got the stupid friend codes. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of nonsense. They're also trying to do this thing with T Nintendo TV, this gimmick with like Netflix, YouTube, you know, Hulu, all that stuff. That's a little... I, I appreciate, you know, Nintendo's trying to branch out, they're trying to be more media heavy here, trying to be a bit more uh, of a home entertainment system, Try trying to catch up, you know, I mean, they're really trying here. This is one of the more disappointing things, this one is garbage. No backwards compatibility with a fucking GameCube, man. What kind of garbage is this? The Wii was generally able to have BC with freaking GameCube. So how are you telling me that the Wii U, a newer, more powerful system, can't play back GameCube games? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Nintendo, these fucks want to sell you these GameCube titles. That's right. Some of these GameCube games are going to be available on the Virtual Console. So you're going to have to buy it through the Wii U eShop. You're going to have to buy and pay for these fucking games again. Because they're going to try to milk it. 
and it's garbage. They purposely remove backwards compatibility f of, of GameCube titles so that you have to buy it again off the frickin' uh, eShop. So, they're milking it, man. This is fucking garbage. So, Nintendo, uh, shove it up your ass for, for doing this. I mean, you could have easily just put in a backward compatible system with, you know, at least the disc-based games. Why is it that you can't have BC with this console? So the people that own a, that had a GameCube or you know own the games but maybe don't have the system anymore, they can't play this. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be a big deal. I mean, I guess on the other hand, it's kind of like the PS2 and like with the PS3. You know, I've, I've mentioned before that you know you don't really need. I mean, if you want to play the PS2 games, just get a PS2 for like twenty bucks. It's kind of the same thing with a GameCube, I guess. You can just get a GameCube for $30 used on Craigslist. You know, I mean, you know, it's, it's easily, you can easily find it online and stuff. So, I guess that's one thing. I mean, you know, if you want to play GameCube games, buy a GameCube. You know, you know, it's, it's old. You know, it's an old system. And I understand that. But it's just, my God. Talk about, like, leaving the past. Talk about uh, disconnecting the history of Nintendo like it's always been the case with these guys you know these pricks just don't know anything about backwards compatibility they, they don't do it and I always shake my head like the Super Nintendo couldn't play back Nintendo games you know SNES can't play NES games 8-bit so what did they do they would sometimes have these fucking compilations like you know, like the Super Mario Brothers collection, you know, All-Stars and shit like that. Ninja Gaiden, you know, the trilogy. But the problem is that people have to end up relying on these stupid compilations, collections, or if it's going to be available on the eShop, on, you know, on the virtual console. And what if there's a really good game that you want to play that's not available on the virtual console, you know? That, that really sucks. I mean, again, I, I I can sort of see why they didn't include it. It's like the PS2 and even maybe the you know original Xbox and the 360. If you want to play Xbox games, buy an old Xbox. You know, it's only like 20 bucks or something. So I understand that, but I mean, it's you know, it's bullshit. I mean, backward compatibility is such a it, it, it raises the quality of the system. It makes it so much more amazing because you can go back. You don't have to buy that old system anymore. It, it's nostalgic. It plays to the people that actually are fans of that history, that lineage, people who supported the older systems. I mean, how awesome it would have been if you could play N64 games on the fucking uh, GameCube when the GameCube came out. So, you, you know... Like the N64 couldn't play Super Nintendo games. You know, just bullshit. Fucking retarded. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get pissed off with the Wii U. Yeah. I might, I, you know, I might not even buy the system, man. Wii U's, uh, Nintendo's just starting to piss me off. You know, I already mentioned the games, you know, some of the games, the Japanese versions, you know, they're not... Jap if you live in Japan, man, I feel bad for you. If you're a Japanese dude, and you want to buy a Wii U and stuff, man, that really sucks. Because you're getting the shaft here. You're getting owned. You're not getting a lot of these amazing games. You're missing out on games like, you know, Darksiders. You know, you're missing out on a bunch of other titles. You're missing out on, I, I guess, like, you know, Ben 10. I mean, if you're into that. You know, there's certain titles that's not going to be available in Japan. Uh, Rabbit's Land, Scribblenauts, you know, I mean, Sonic All-Stars Racing. All right, I've already talked about the games. Um, I don't know. One cool thing is that they have digital-only games on the eShop. Like, they're really trying to promote that. They're trying to be like, oh yeah, Xbox Live. So the games like uh, Chasing Aurora, Cloudberry Kingdom, uh, Little Inferno, uh, Mighty Switch Force, Hyperdrive, Nano Assault Neo, Trine 2, Director's Cut. They got these little titles. They're trying to trying to branch out and expand their uh, 
their, their online presence, and that's kind of good. I don't know, man. I, I wonder how much this is going to sell, like, in the first few months. I remember, I mean, I, I was just browsing earlier today, and I, I saw this dude. And he ha he already had a Wii U. He was unboxing it. He got a Wii U early, like, early November. This fuck. Apparently, he's somehow connected to Nintendo. Like, he's got some Nintendo connections and shit. And he's, like, opening all these games. He's got, like, Zombie U and shit. And he's got all these titles he's showing off. I was like, what the fuck, man? Are you serious with this? Like, why is it that this guy gets special privilege? He doesn't... He, you know, he's not like... IGN or something like that, you know? He's not connected to that. He's got, like, barely a hundred subscribers. He's got maybe a few thousand views. His videos only get, like, you know, maybe... 2,000, 5,000 views and stuff, but... The guy's got the fucking system. He's got a Wii U, like, right now, and he's opening it and shit. I'm just like, damn. Yeah, so th that's pretty much it. I mean, th that's the specs. Uh, the Wii U optical disc, 25 gigs per fucking disc, man. Alright, so that's it. I mean, uh, if you buy a Wii U, this is going to be the final fucking, uh final preview I guess this is pretty much it it's about to come out and then the next gen or at least the current gen we use about to catch up and it's almost it's like it's about goddamn time what took Nintendo so long I don't know man I'm out of here till next time ciao